Hey guys, something else pretty cool that I haven't done a review on. In fact, I really haven't seen them that often. I think G. Schultz might have done a review, but this is a reduced sodium individual meal. It's produced by a Sapaco down in Mullins, South Carolina. One of the reasons why I thought this was uh, kind of interesting is the sodium content on these things are always, always incredibly high. And just so you can see, that is beef ravioli and meat sauce. And I have a 2014 entree as well. So we'll compare the sodium level from this one to this one after we crack in this thing. Well, let's get started. I would also like to thank Kayla very much for sending me this ration, along with another one, but I had just recently did a review on the other one that she had sent, which kind of defeated the purpose. It's a nice clear bag on here. You can see a date code. Looks like a uh, 129th day of 2012. However, it could be 2002. You never really know, which is why I'm a fan of the Canadian five-digit date codes. Some straight-up crackers. A sure pack flameless ration heater it is identical to the military production ones. Some grape jelly. Get a small accessory packet. Ah, the toaster pastry. Looks like this is like one of the double packets. Tootsie roll or what do they call these? Chocolate toffees. Some strawberry jam. Seasoning lind, salt free. And of course, lastly, the beef ravioli and meat sauce. This doesn't look like a very comprehensive accessory packet, but we'll delve into it together. Pretty decent spoon, napkin, and a pack of salt and pepper. I don't remember who made the comment was, but he, he said since he started watching these reviews, whenever he goes out to a fast food place or a restaurant, he's always checking the quality of the spoons. So, awesome. Now starting off with this one, we can see this is 270 calories with 60 from fat and we go down the line we see the sodium level is 340 milligrams or 14 percent so this is the low sodium version where if you take the current version that is being produced right now it's 280 calories with 70 of those calories from fat and you go down here to sodium, it has, is that, it is a little glary, 790 milligrams of sodium, which is 33%, almost a third of your daily recommended allowance for sodium for the same exact 8 ounce portion. Another thing that's increased, you look down here at the vitamins, you have 10% vitamin A. 10% vitamin C, and on this one, you only have 2% vitamin A and 8% vitamin C. However, it looks like the iron, no, iron is the same, and what about the calcium? Calcium is the same. Okay, another thing that we're going to do, we're going to try something different with this ration heater. Now, I know we talked about Putting a little bit of salt in your ration heater can help it activate. But somebody said, hey, try putting the, the 
the salt actually in the water and just let it sit in there so you have a salt water solution. So we'll do that for a little bit, just let that sit before we pour it into this ration here. Now I've just been slowly just spinning this or stirring it. You can see that salt water has finally dissolved into that water, making this a salt water solution. So I'll move the top off of this real quick. Now Rocky Rab keeps telling me don't put the ration inside of this. Just put one on this side and one on this side. And to help retain the heat, I'm going to use something that my friend Mariano sent me from Argentina. We're going to use this foam to try to retain that heat as much as possible. If I can open this stupid bag. For some reason, it's always a challenge for me. And just right up to the fill line. So, I'm just going to lay this down briefly so we can get all of these individual cells immersed and I'm starting to hear that reaction occur with the salt water interacting with the iron filings and the magnesium give that just another second to start doing its thing. Okay, starting to go. We're getting some steam going. Let's slide that over here. And to make this a fair comparison from one meal to the other, we're going to remove, well maybe, if I can get it out of the box, we're going to set this on one side and that one on the other. This thing is going now, nice and hot, and we'll stick it right in here to do its thing. Again, thank you again very much, Mariana, for sending that. Hey, I do have a rock or something. We will set that on a rock or something. All right, well, we're waiting for that to heat up. Let's take a look at some of the other stuff. Now, I, I did not notice a beverage in this drink. Oh, look at the toaster pastries. Looks like it's just a double pack of Pop-Tarts, and that's exactly what it is. This is one of the crazy things, and it's just my opinion, too. Why repackage something that's already sealed? It just means that you have more stuff. I guess maybe freshness, quality, something to that effect. I don't know. And then we have a package of crackers. Oop, yep, cracker hiss. Kiwi dude, my friend, would be proud. This one are a little dinged up. They've been sitting in here for quite a while. Now, me, honestly, if I was having, like, an Italian-style meal, I would I would prefer uh, cheese to this, but the cheese is incredibly high in sodium, so I can see why they opted for uh, the jam. But it's kind of weird. You get two jams. It would almost be better if it was the same flavor too. Then of course the spoon and we have our salt and pepper standing by. Should only be a few more minutes. Now I have to dig up something to uh, to drink with this stuff. I almost forgot our Tootsie Roll or chocolate toffee. And of course we have that salt free seasoning and what the heck I might as well just open these I'm assuming this is a double pack and, <laughs> awesome and Sherman making himself all nice and comfy making a racket 
that's what he does. Yeah, it's a double pack. So unlike the Canadian IMP burger, that apparently I didn't see it was two different burgers, I see that this one is two different Pop-Tarts. But they're smashed together. They don't want to come apart. So guess what? It's just going to be its own little thing. All right, grab that napkin, throw it over there. Uh... Just a few more minutes for the chow, for the drink. I'm going to drink this uh, Kill Cliff. And this was sent to me by my buddy Jacob in Colorado. And it is a cold brew coffee. I think that's like a coconut cream flavor. I've never had this before, so that will be interesting. And it goes along with our low sodium. It only has 1% of your daily recommended uh, sodium intake. And it is sugar free and with natural sugar or whatever. I'm not getting paid by Kill Cliff. It was just something that my friend wanted me to try. So, okay, let's get those mains plated. I've put the low sodium on this side and the regular stuff right over here. All right, I ended up throwing a binder clip to kind of keep the top closed you want to make sure that this has uh, a place where it can vent they're not hot but they're not cold either and halfway through the time I flipped the bags to, to at least warm them on both sides the bag is still hot I mean it is it is hot to the touch so it, it did do its job which is rare with any of my vids. Half of these things never cook off. The other nice thing about setting these on the outside of the bag is these bags don't get all wet and all nasty, which makes it easier to open because as soon as your hands get wet, it makes it such a challenge to open these things. It really does look like something that you would get out of a can of Chef Boy RD. Tiny little squares of pasta. People will say they're raviolis, but raviolis are usually stuffed with something. And here is the new or 2014 version. Let's not contaminate this. And it too has the tear notches on the top. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That looks different already. This one looks like it has little meat pieces in here. Man, it's like the attack of the gnats. I'm just seeing these gnats just coming everywhere. Stupid gnats. It's another reason why I like fall and winter so much. Get a look at the low sodium stuff. It's pretty much no frills. Uh, this does have little meat pieces too. It just has a little bit of age on it. This is a lot more soupy than this side. And we'll give the low sodium a little taste. Okay, it's definitely bland because it hasn't been seasoned properly or enough, depending on your taste. These raviolis are just squares or rectangles of pasta. The beef is external, so it is not inside. It's nice and creamy. I do like that aspect, but it's like I said, if you ever go to a professional kitchen or something, the one thing that they love to do is just season 
everything. So let's try the real deal 700, I don't know, like 90 milligrams of sodium. It just tastes slightly salty. It doesn't really even taste, you know, a lot salty compared that there's almost twice as much, well, well there is over twice as much sodium in this than there is here. Let's uh, cleanse our palate with this Kill Cliff. Mmm. It does have a coffee edge to it. Hmm. That's not too bad. A nice little hint of uh, coconut coming through. I don't really taste like any like coconut cream. Now this is the pop tarts that don't really want to come apart, and I'm not going to break them anymore. We'll give this. What flavor was this? I think this was. Brown sugar and cinnamon. Give that a try real quick. Yep, just simply a Pop-Tart. We'll see how this goes along with that. Mm. Yeah, these two definitely would work together. It would work good with this, too. So, yeah, that's good. Not necessarily goes with this, but... If you're a coffee drinker or like an iced coffee drinker, this would be just perfect for you. Let's grab a little bit of this strawberry jam. I have plans for this one. So we'll squeeze off a little bit on this side. We'll use our grape jelly. Grape jelly for some reason is a is a lot more runny. I don't know why. We'll put some grape on that side. Out of these two, I would definitely prefer the strawberry just because it doesn't want to ooze all off of everything. Yeah, and that's the issue. You can see it. It's actually starting to fill up these holes and come through the other side. And then the strawberry side. Take another pull. Mm. This stuff really is not that bad. I'm kind of uh, impressed. Well, now we've got this stuff. I'm going to gun dog it up a little bit. We'll try some of this seasoned blend salt free. I would prefer my crushed red pepper. Oh, jeez. Well, that's what happens sometimes. And we'll take a little bit of our cracker. On each side. Slight mix, especially over here to get that seasoning rocking and rolling. Now we'll give that a try. I don't know. To me, this seasoning packet was a fail. It was almost like I just dumped a bunch of dust in there. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a fan of that whatsoever. The crackers add another texture and dimension with that nice crunch. We'll try the newer stuff. Not sodium-free version. Yeah, I would say this is really lacking. It should have like a low sodium cheese to go with this. The, the jelly's nice, but you know, needed it needed something to help with this. That would have been nice. Mm. I guess then the last thing that you would have after you ate everything that you wanted to eat, you could always have or a little bit of Tootsie Roll. Whenever we got these, I used to save these for when I was on Radio Watch or had OP in the middle of the night to help count down the minutes till I got to wake up the next guy. Well, everybody, this was a review of a reduced sodium meal individual from Sapaco. This was the beef ravioli in meat sauce. 
along with some Kill Cliff coffee drink. So, thank you very much, Kayla. Thank you for Jacob for sending that. And I will see you all for the next review. Bye.